How's it going, true gamers? In today's video, I'm bringing you guys old school RuneScape progression video number 15. And man, do we get some big gains in this one. I'm really excited to show you guys. So stay tuned and let the gains begin. The first task into our new progression video, 212 Abyssal Demons in the Abyss. Well, that's Unsired number four, and hopefully that gets us collection log right, number here six. we go. Use our Abyssal, un or Unsired. And we get the Abyssal Head. Let's go. That's six out of nine items on our Abyssal Sire collection log. Let's no keep going. No way! Our fifth Unsired? Holy crap, that's our fifth Unsired at under 300 kill count. Let's go see if we can't get collection log number seven. Yeah, that's our fifth Unsired in under 300 kill count. Let's go and see what we get. Let's go! And we get our Bludgeon Claw. Now let's just go to the bank and get our two other Abyssal Bludgeon components and create. Now that we have all three pieces, let's just use one of them on our body, the Overseer. You have harvested any components for me, you hand over the components, you have all the components, you already know I do, and there we go. That is Abyssal Bludgeoned Complete in under 300 kill count, that's pretty awesome. Thank you very much. And farewell to you as well, my friend. Abyssal Bludgeoned Complete, that is awesome, let's go. There it is, shooting star number let's 8. Let's go, that's shooting star number 17, and we're less than 100 away now. Let's, let's go. go. That's 12,000 Stardust, and now we just need to go to Desiri's Star Shop and claim our rewards. Yeah, Valador East Bank here, we're going to talk to Desiri. And we're not going to bother coloring the body, since we have Arak Armor 4, I don't think. Might in the future, but for now I'm fine. So we're going to buy our Celestial Ring. We're going to buy three Star Fragments. And that is also going to Green Log, our Shooting Star Collection Log. Let's go. Two of two. Now let's just color our pants, our helmet, and our boots. And there we go. The full golden mining outfit minus the top because we have Varak Armor 4. That looks beautiful. Now I'm just going to head to Priftinus to create our Celestial Ring out of it. Now that we're in Priftinus at a singing bowl, we're just going to use our Elven Signet along with 100 Crystal Shards and 1,000 Stardust in order to create, and yes, I would like to, our Crystal Signet. Now we're just going to have to charge it up a bit, so we're going to have to get some more Hey, and that Hispori kill puts us at 125 million farming XP, only 75 right. million. And I think we're going to call it right there. As you can see, we have just over 12,000 Stardust, so now we can fully charge our Celestial Signet with 10,000 charges, and that gives us another 2,000 left over to have in the bank on standby for recharges. Let's go. Hey, let's go! That's 96 Prayer. And that puts us at 2270 total and leaves us just seven levels away from maxing. Oh, that's Let's our sixth it. unsired. And hopefully collection, slog, uh, collection log slot number eight out of nine. All we're missing is the Abyssal Orphan and Jar of Miasma. Let's go see All what right. we get. Let's go ahead and use our unsired on the font of consumption and see what we get. Let's go! We got the Abyssal Orphan! Oh my gosh! Kill count 365. We get our 10th pet. Oh my gosh! And what a beautiful 10th pet that is. Oh my gosh. And as you guys can see, we're only missing one log slot now. Oh my gosh. That is some beautiful RNG, man. Holy crap. I did may have killed your father. Uh, no, I am your father, actually. Yeah. No, I'm not. Oh crap. He called me out. Shit. Well, hopefully he doesn't have bad feelings and we can get along. <laughs> no way. What is the drop rate on that? Oh my gosh. Another crazy drop. Let's figure it out. Ah, just one in 4,745. Nothing too crazy. Insane. And there is task complete. All right. Back to Konar to get 111 greater demons on the Isle of Souls. You know what? It's time. I hope you miss me. And I really miss you. Let's go. Hopefully we can get a D full helm drop one of these times. It'll be fucking amazing. If you talk to the Hunter Guildmaster with your Hunter cape either equipped or in your inventory, you'll unlock the Hunter Guild teleport on your Hunter's cape as well. So that's what I'm doing right now. And completing this clue step right, before I go ahead and complete this clue, I'm going to use my Hunter cape on Guildmaster Apatura. And that did nothing. So let's talk to him. Yes, okay, so you just talk to him and say yes, please. There it is. So now, as you can see, if I click teleport, I now have a third option of the Hunter Guild. Very awesome. Hey, there's another task complete. Now let's just head back to 19 Konar. Fossil Island Wyvern. There's another task down. Let's see what Konar's got 160 for us 160 Brine Rats in the Brine Rat Cavern. Bet, let's see if I can't get a Brine Saber on the collection. And there's another task down. I'll throw loot on screen. Back to Konar. 120 Drakes in the Karloom Slayer Dungeon. There's another task that. complete. I'm going to go ahead and post the loot on screen again, and I'm going to start doing that from here 24 on 24 mutated zygomites on Fossil Island. All right, that'll be a cool I actually high-key love the artwork design they did on Fossil Island. It just... What a cool little island. Great job. I thought I'd bring Irby back for a little reunion as well while I finish the task. <laughs> hey, there's another task complete. I'm going to throw the loot on screen and head back to Konar. All right, 166 Calphite in the Calphite layer. Let's do it. I'm ready for that. There's Insect Deflectant, and that's another combat achievement. Prayer Smash, killing it while only using Varric's Flail as a weapon, and kill the Queen while her defense was last lowered by you. So we'll get those two done real quick and finish her off. And there it is, Chitin Penetrator complete. I don't know why I wasn't recording there, but now all we got to do is get a kill with Varric's Flail to finish off the combat achievements. Let's, Let's go. It. There's our final Kelphite Queen test complete, Prayer Smasher. And as you can see, 
That completes our Cal Fight Queen combat achievement. Let's go. That's five out of five. Amazing. No we'll take way. That. I have no idea why I wasn't recording. That is really upsetting. But we sniped a jar of sand. Look at that. And that makes five out of six on our collection log. And now we're just missing Cal Fight Princess. Let's, let's finish go. it. Off. That's that first light complete. Now let's just finish up the rest of the new quest and then get back and that's to Slayer. Defender of Ara complete. And that's another quest down. Let's go. Let's go. That's a riveting tale of a lily pad dispute complete. And that also unlocks our new Avium Savannah Hardwood tree patch. Let's go. Let's Two quests. Go. And that's Twilight's Promise complete. And that just leaves Perilous Moons to go. But that also unlocks the ability to use Quetzals and our Civitus Illifortis teleport. Let's go. Let's go. And that's Perilous Moon quest complete. And that also gets us our quest gate back. Let's go. Been too long. And I think with that, I honestly might go do uh, the Fortis Coliseum to get the quiver. And then continue Slayer right after that. So I think that's actually what I'll do next. Awesome. All right. And completing the quest also counts as a normal completion of the Moon's Apparel. So we're going to go ahead and claim our rewards. See what we get. And unfortunately, no uniques. But you know what? We'll take it. Let's go. And there's Lunar Triplet as well. Combat task. Awesome. Hey, let's go. And that Coliseum wave puts us at just over 750 mil total. That is a huge milestone. And we'll definitely take that. Let's go. All right, true gamers, I think I'm going to head back to Slayer right there. We can confidently do waves one through five of the Coliseum right now, but I'm realizing this is going to take a lot longer than a couple days to crack down on, so I think I'm just going to go back to Slayer, and then we'll probably come back okay, to it. KQ head at 101, and that unlocks our Kelphite Queen Slayer helmet if we so choose, and I think we will. I do really like the look of the updated version. All right, now that we're at Duradel with our Karamja Gloves 4, we're just going to go to Rewards, scroll down a little bit. Kelphite Cot. Learn how to combine the Kelphite Queen head with the Slayer helmet. Confirm. And that puts us at 324 points remaining, but also unlocks our KQ Head Slayer Helm. It's an awesome looking Slayer Helm. I love the updated look, how they added these antennas right there. Just such a nice addition to this helmet. And that's officially another Slayer Helmet down. That's three down. And there it is. There's another task complete. Now let's head back to Konar and see 42 what else we get. Steel Dragons in the Catacombs of Karen. Don't and mind. There's another do. task down. Let's head back to Konar. 165 Dagonoth in the Lighthouse. That's some juicy XP. Let's do it. Noni! <laughs> Uh, oh, one in 16,384 drop, a tooth half a key, gnarly RNG. Hey, there's another task complete. Let's head back to 200 black demons in the catacombs of Karend. Hey, there's another task down. I'll throw the loot on screen and let's head back to 98 Kona. lizardmen on the battlefront. Don't mind oh, if there's we another do. test complete. I'll throw up the loot and head back to Konar. 132 worms in the Carloom Slayer dungeon. Hey, Let's do there's it. another test complete. Let's head back to Konar and 245 see Bloodveld in the Meyer Dish Laboratories. Let's do hey, that's another task down. I'll throw up the loot and we'll head right back to Konar. Let's 200 do Cave Kraken in the Kraken Cove. Big bats. Let's see if we can't get Kraken. All right, and I figured it'd be best to finish up our Kraken combat achievements now too. All we have left to do is kill all four tentacles before killing the Kraken, and then 25, 50, and 100 kills in a single private instance, which we're going to be able to accomplish by bringing our Kodai the Blood Barrage, because you can cast Blood Barrage on the pool and infinitely heal, basically, so shouldn't it be too hard. Let's hey, see. there's unnecessary optimization complete, and that just leaves us with three more combat achievements. Let's do it. There's Kraken Can't crack can't hurt me and that's combat achievement three out there's five. tentacles and that just leaves us with 50 more kills to go in this instance and one more combat achievement there's 100 tentacles it. and that puts us at five out of five combat achievements done for kraken now let's just finish these last 100 kills that's and kraken task. task complete i'll throw the loot up on screen and head back to iron dragons in the catacombs of karend let's do it let's see if we can hey do there's another task down i'll throw up the loot and we'll head back to 241 Kona. abyssal demons in the abyss we can, you can see, that. all we're missing for the Abyssal Sire is the Jar of Miasma, so let's see if we can't go That's and get it. That's 97 Prayer, and that puts us at 2271 total, just six levels away from max. We can smell it now, boys. Woo! Let's get it. There's our seventh on Sired, and 244 kills after our last. Now let's just head over to the Fauna consum or Consumption and see if we can't get our Jar of Miasma. Here we are, moment of truth on Sired on the Fauna Consumption. And unfortunately, we get a bludgeon spine, so we are still missing Jar of my ass. Oh, Let's two see. Casey later, we get another unsired. This is our chance at the Jar of my ass. Come on, Jar of my asthma. Okay, and we get another Abyssal Dagger. We'll actually take that. It's a nice little thing. All right, and now the Dead Man Armageddon's over. Let's go ahead and trade Nigel right here in the Lumbridge Swamp to claim our rewards. We're going to do an Armageddon Weapon Scroll for 12,000. We'll buy one of those. And we're also going to do an Armageddon Rug for 3,000. We'll buy one of those. So first, let's go ahead and use our Armageddon Weapon Scroll on Nigel to unlock our weapon variants. Yes, unlock Deadman Armageddon Weapon Ornaments. Bring me an Armado God Sword, Dark Bow, Void Waker, or Violated Nightmare Staff, and I'll give you a trim. And there we go. That gives us our Void Waker Deadman variant. And that is pretty flippin' beautiful. Now let's just enter build mode on our house and install our Deadman Rug as well. So right over here, we're going to build it in our bedroom. 
Build the rug space, dead man rug. And that, my friends, is a pretty darn sweet rug. Well, all right, back to Abyssal Sire. So gonna go ahead and get the dark bow dead man, and I think we're gonna hold off on the volatile nightmare and armadillo god sword for now. But that looks freaking clean. The dark bow dead man. As well as the void waker dead man. There we go, and that is another task complete. And now I'll throw the loot up on the screen, and let's head back to Konar. This next task 176 Hydras in the Karloom Slayer Dungeon. Now, this is actually our first Hydra task. You already know we're doing the boss. Let's get some collection log slots on our first kill. Let's see how good we can get it by the end of it. That's two combat tasks complete. Lightning lure, don't get hit by the lightning attack, and don't flame me, don't get hit by his flame wall. Let's go, that's two combat achievements down. That's 96 Slayer, and the Flame Skipper combat achievement complete. I think I'm gonna actually finish this task in the next video, but there's one more thing I want to do before I finish this one out. That's while Guthic sleeps complete, and that also gets us our quest cape back. But we can also go to our player-owned house and add our brove to our menagerie and our nature house. What a beast, and what an awesome quest. They did a great job on this one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, keep gaming, true gamers. Peace out.